Day one of Electro Picnic. Jenny Houston here with the Rapture. Luke and Vito. Hello, hello. Hello. Tay, how's it going? It's a big day. It's not a big day, not only because it's the first day of the festival, but it's a massive day for the Rapture because your album is officially out in Ireland. Yes. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite a process getting this record out, and uh, it's nice that it comes out here first. Yeah. It, we always feel a bit spoiled because we're not the biggest territory, but at least we get it first, so it's our one little privilege. Yeah, you and, you and Australia both get it first, so both islands, like, you know, it's, it's good. They've both been great countries for us. So. <laughs> we're, we're happy to share with them. We a lot, yeah. I'm sure the, uh, the, you know, the music journalists and critics have been asking you extensively about why has it taken so long, but I'd imagine it was just life that you wanted to enjoy after all those crazy years of touring. Yeah, there was a lot of that going on, and I got a bit blown out of the water because my mom uh, died. She took her own life five years ago, and then my son was born same year, and um, so it was just a lot to take in. And then I quit the band, and then Maddie quit the band, and then we had one record made, and then we didn't put that, we didn't finish that, and then we started a whole other record. So we really made two records and just didn't put one out. Wow, so a gigantic roller coaster of emotion. I'm so sorry to hear about your mother. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. But obviously your son I'm sure has been a, a wonderful blessing sure yeah well you know mental illness has been a big theme in my family like my grandmother also you know uh walked into the ocean in Swansea and like that was the end of her so I never got to know her so you know it's a lot to and the record's like a lot about dealing with um that kind of grief but also just wanting to make something positive you know after all that how do you address grief um in a band that is so known for making people dance it's that must be a tricky one well, you know, I think, like, Blue Monday is a good template. I think Blue Monday started out as just, like, it was just, like, kind of a downer ballad, and they turned it into Blue Monday. So I think, you know, but there's lots of, um, I don't know, you can't have emotion in dance music. I mean, we never really liked that whole thing where it's, like, uh, we just see dance music as just another kind of music that's not separate from, I don't know, it seems obvious, but I guess, I guess you're supposed to say that out loud. No, of course you could say it out loud. It's great <laughs> to hear that. Challenge the stereotypes. No, you're dead right, Luke. So, I mean, when you, um, did you did you know how you wanted to approach this album? Did you know that you were going to approach it a little bit differently? Everybody's remarked about, you know, the word that keeps coming up is the depth of the album. It's getting outrageously positive reviews. Really? Yeah. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> That's well, great. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> just saying, you know, they really that, you know, it's sort of, in a way, it's gentler. Um, yeah. And they're talking about the depth. They're talking about the quality of the bass guitar production. <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah, I, I think, you know, it's just like set out to make a joyful record. And um, I grew up in a really nihilistic time, you know, grunge and gangster rap. And um, then, you know, sort of like having a, a little boy and, and um, not wanting to pass on all this darkness to him and sort of, um, you know, started listening to music that was joyful. That was the beginning for me. And then sort of, I think that translated into the album, You Are What You Eat, I think. That was going to be the working title. That was the working title, but then was we it? decided in the group, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how did you settle on um, In the Grace of Your Love? And, and the first single, How Deep Is Your Love? Obviously, love is a big theme. Yeah, I got made fun of for like the love thing a lot, but I worked for the Beatles. You know, they they were said love all the time, and I don't know, they did okay. And yeah. one of your one of your early singles from Echoes was uh, "Love Is All," wasn't yeah, it? Was yeah, all, that's a great yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, uh, definitely loves a the theme. I, it's not a bad thing, I don't think. It's yeah. a really good thing. <laughs> Two <laughs> thumbs up yeah. for love. Yeah. Who doesn't like yeah. that? You know, that's what yeah. everybody's looking for ultimately. So um, when it comes to the live show then, you know, with all the changes that have happened over the years, um, Matt's not playing with you this time around, so who do you have with you or how are you set up? Uh, we have this guy, Harris Clark, who's actually been with us for like two years now, and he's fully integrated into the live show. And he's a fantastic bass player and musician and all-around guy, which is really important too when you're on the road a lot with somebody. And um, yeah, so it's it, the live show is really good. It's like we're really excited about it, and we're really excited to be playing new material too, which it's been a long time, so that's that's been exciting. Well, I've only heard the one single, so I'm itching to hear all yeah. the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll play like you know five or six new songs. We don't want to play too much because you know the album just came out, but there's a balance. So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, do you? Uh, it's been so good to you, but is it hard for you to play House of Jealous Lovers? These days, no, or I, rem I remember growing up in the era of Kurt Cobain, and he was always sabotaging, or like you know, Radiohead was always like, "We're not going to play 
creep, and it's just like, yeah, come on, you know. I remember reading um, this interview with Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, and asked him, you know, are you tired of playing Paranoid? And him just um, saying like, no, I mean, like I have the power to make you know twenty thousand people go mental instantly. So like, what, why, like, what's up with that? Like, I didn't like that. I guess that was something that I didn't like about you know this sort of Sonic Youth uh, paradigm, the kind of Steve Albini you know like make people suffer sort of you know oh you know this whole it's just a bit too high school i think you know it's like you're trying to subvert like you hate the you hate the cool kids in high school but then you become the cool kids in high school i always thought that was a bit boring you should be writing like a column luke i think you've got a lot of good stuff i really this is good you're getting gold people you're getting gold <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask you because um, you know, you've, you've just come from Europe and trauma, trauma backstage. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that yeah. Ireland's going to give you a big bear hug of love sure. when you play tonight. Yeah, blackmail. So we had, our, we had we were, while we were on stage in Switzerland, we had all four of our band laptops taken. But, but then it gets better. Then, then they started sending us emails to blackmail us and stuff like 10,000 euros or else we're putting all your information online. Et cetera, et cetera, you know, at be, and the, the best part is at the end of our email, they put, be honored. That was my favorite part. I'm sure you do feel very honored <laughs> to have four computers stolen. And yeah. I felt a lot of stuff, but honored yeah. wasn't <laughs> one of them. I, imagine. Yeah. I think there, there's a misconception, though, that, uh, that it, people are making a lot of money in music these days. I don't know where they're getting that impression from. Well, but yeah, well, I mean, it's a pretty good job. I mean, I think people... Um, a right to be jealous in the sense that it, it is a blessing to have a job that you love doing and that you would ultimately do for free. I mean, I do get tired and stuff and travel around, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't, I, I don't think I could get up and work eight hours a day, five days a week, and like I just, I don't know how I would do that. And to be able to do something I love is really nice, whether whether it pays a lot of money or or not. Yeah. So you guys are you're you're obviously looking forward to this tour. Things you seem to be in a in a good space. Yeah, I, I think we really are. I mean, you know, it's it's really nice to play for our fans again. I mean, that sounds like totally cheesy and cliche, but it's been a long time. So, I mean, it's it's been really great to just, we've just started, but, like, go out there and play again. And, like, there's just a whole new generation of people that, like, have never seen us before and are really excited. I mean, you know, to see the new stuff, but also, like, they've never seen us play, like, you know, Echoes or any of that yeah. stuff. So. It's been it's been it's been really great. It's really I, nice. You always forget about the teenagers that were in love with your band when they're 17 and couldn't go to the clubs. Yeah. And all of a sudden, then this is their chance. They're they're right for it. Yeah. Yeah. And like we just you know I guess we had um, the theme song of that show Misfits, and like people have been freaking out to that song. So it wasn't a song that people cared about that much. And then all of a sudden, it's just like we've just been given this gift of this like, is a cult you know, hit. Yeah, yeah, it's one of our it's biggest good. songs it's, it's live cool. now, so it's, it's fantastic. It's like the, yeah. the B-52s had um, Rock Lobster wasn't a hit till five out, five years after, like, you know, they put it out, and then it just blew up, so. Yeah, it's cool to be old and be in a band and, like, sort of still be around. <laughs> it is. It's awesome. It's all right to be old, you know. You're and, dating uh, me while you're doing yeah. that. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. We've I mean, talked so many times before. Yeah. They were always half asleep, though. But yeah, yeah. from the Trinity Balls and the yeah. Village, yeah. and yeah. yeah, a little more awake, right? Now. Yeah, no, it's it's nice to see you guys rested, uh, sleeping yeah. in glamorous <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In car yeah. parks. Yeah. Well, really looking forward to tonight. Congratulations again on the album. I can't Thank wait you. to hear the whole thing. As I say, I've just been playing. You know, how deep is your love? But uh, really good it's talking to deep. you. Your love is yeah. pretty deep. <laughs> yeah. The rapture.